Hello friends, to continue our tricks on percentages, today we are going to calculate some decimal percentages in which the digit after decimal will be other than 5. Remember in part 1 we have done a trick in which the decimal place after the decimal place we had a digit 5. Now for better understanding of this we need to again look into 10%, 1% and 0.1%. Now 10% of any number say 740 is just put a decimal one digit from the right side it is 74. 1% put a decimal two digits from the right that is 7.4 and 0.1% put a decimal three digits from the right so 0. 7.4. So if you have the understanding of this concept, you can calculate any decimal percentage orally or within a time of 3 to 4 seconds only. Now to demonstrate this concept, let me take a simple example. Now this is 8.3%. Now see 8.3 percentage of any number is difficult to calculate. I am taking a simple number so that we can understand the steps here. Now let us break this 8.3 percent into 10, 1 and 0 0.1 percent. So obviously this is less than 10 percent so we don't need 10 percent here. So 8 percent is actually 8 into 1 percent and 0.3 percent is 3 into 0.1 percent. Now once you know the concept of 1 percent and 0 0.1 percent you can very well put the values here and for solve the answer. Now see 8 into 1 percent, 1 percent is 2 digits from the right so 4 and 3 times 0 0.1 percent that is 3 digits from the right so 0 0.4 your answer will be 32 and 3 into 0 0.4 is 1.2 so 33.2 is your final answer. Now let me remind you that I have written all these steps just for understanding purpose. Once you practice this concept for 20-30 minutes taking a different set of examples, you can get rid of all these steps and calculate this value orally also. Another example, say so this time we have 23.6% of the number which I am taking is 2800. Now see, now this 23 is greater than 10% so we need 10% also now. So 2 into 10%, 10% of this is 280, now this is 20%. Now further we have 3%, so 3% is 3 into 1%, so 1% of this is 28 and now we have 0.6%, so 6 into 0.1, so 0.1%, 3 digits from the right, 2.8. So once you get this step directly and have an understanding of this step, uh, further steps are very easy to calculate. Now see, 28 to the 5, 6, so 0 and 84 and 8 is the 48, 8, 4, so 16, so when you total this up, this will be 660.8 which is your answer. Take some more example, this time a larger percentage say 46.4 percent of this time the number which I am taking is 162. Now see 46, so 40 means 4 into 10 percent, 10 percent is 16.2. 6, 6 means 6 into 1 percent, 1 percent is 1.62 and 0 0.4, 0 0.4 means 4 into 0.1 percent, so 3 digits from the right is 0 0.162. Now just calculate this, it's very easy calculation, 64.8 plus 9.72 plus 0.648. Now once you total these three ups, 
then you get your final answer it is 75.168 now you can extrapolate this method for some other questions also say we have this time i am taking 78.2% of the number i am taking is 110 now see 78 7 into 10% 10% is 11 8% 8 into 1% is 1.1 and 0.2 means 2 into 0.1% so 0.11 so this is 77 plus 8.8 .8 plus 0 0.22 so when you add this up this is 0 0.8 and 0 0.22 is 1.02 and 77 plus 8 is 85 so 86.03 that is your answer of this percentage if you want i can solve one more example say we will then we'll conclude this trick i think you would have gained an insight into the percentages and how we can calculate these percentages orally now say i'm taking an example of the fifth question now this is 81.7 percent of the number which i'm taking is 8000 See, 81% is 80 plus 1. So, 80 means 8 into 10. 10% 10 is 800. 1% obviously is 80. And 7.7% 7 .7%, that is 7 into 0.1% 8. So, this is 6400 plus 80 plus 56. So, 64 80 plus 56 which is 6536 is the required answer. I am sure these methods will go a long way in helping you in competitive exams to do the calculations without pen and paper and without using a number of steps which saves a lot of time. So keep learning, keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it.